Hello, Ross again. Here are my pot plants. In particular, I'm going to be focusing on growing of citrus, but on what to add to the pot. So, oops, let's go between the leaves. Oops, there we go. Moving down a bit, coming up to this particular pot. Notice how I've used the old citrus leaves, and this is an orange tree. Orange tree. And I placed them on the top of the soil of the pot. And I've also been adding, go a bit closer, some old tea leaves from tea bags, used tea bags, good source of nutrients for the pot, and also helps collect moisture or water. There's one little one growing there. Another one sprouting, but I have sowed some seeds. Hopefully, as it warms up, they will germinate. Try not to overwater citrus, as it's a a plant that requires well-drained soil. It's lovely though, as a smell source of the leaves, beautiful natural aroma inside your house. And um, I've got a number of varieties here, including grapefruit. So this is grapefruit, grapefruit citrus, and of course. Move around a little bit here. Also got an example of uh, this particular one here is a lemon, lemon tree, and um, lovely aroma. Rub one of the leaves there, and then sniff the leaves. A lovely smell, beautiful, aromatic, citrusy, oily, natural smell. And the whole room here in the morning is pervaded by an awesome natural smell of citrus. And it's a good way to um, you know, brighten up the room, have a lovely natural smell that's organic. So save your, your seeds your citrus seeds. Make sure you dry them for a day on a, on a piece of paper or on a lid on the windowsill. And then you can sow them about one inch below the surface of the soil and water them occasionally, perhaps twice a week. That should suffice. And then soon they'll start germinating and grow. So there you go. Another hobby you can engage in or keep yourself occupied with. Thank you very much. Bye.